My name is James Stanley and in my role as a lead musician on the Wavelength Project, um, I'm often trying to help participants get creative inside of a computer. Uh, and so I'm constantly on the lookout for plugins or techniques uh, that will help me to speed that process up and to make it more enjoyable. I'm going to be sharing three plugins that I use in nearly every session that help me to help other people get creative and make music as quickly as possible. This is the first piece of software I would like to introduce you to. Uh, it's called Arcade. Um, it's a subscription-based plugin, um, and the company that make it, Output, um, describe it as an inspiration machine, which is exactly why I like to use it. Um, once you've opened up the interface, um, you can start to search through the myriads of sounds that are inside this thing um, in a few different ways. Uh, so you can use the search icon up on the left if you're looking for a specific um, instrument, uh, if you're wanting to work in a specific genre, or the person you're working with is wanting or likes a certain genre, um, or if you've started a track already and you're looking for something that's going to fulfill a certain purpose, so uh, you might be looking for um, a beat element, you might be looking for an intro, you might be looking for a hook, you might be looking for a drop, um, you might be able to find something in there that suits that purpose. Um, but also, it can be really useful as a starting point for a track, um, as the initial inspiration to build other things from. Um, that's why I think uh, the lines section is incredibly useful. It works out what kinds of sounds um, are going to work for certain purposes and it categorizes them into these lines which are going to be used for the same sort of thing so as we scroll through um, we can see for example we've got uh, beat elements percussive loops that are classified by a frequency range we've got uh, bass lines um, we've got Nashville here which is instrumental performances from people from Nashville and um, all sorts of stuff um, honestly there are there's something for every genre in here so it's worth spending some time digging through and working out what is appropriate for you um, and the people that you're working with um, I'll pick up on uh, aura uh, one of those lines which I tend to use quite a lot um, atmospheric sounds evolving soundscapes adding ambient layers to any track um, I always like to try and remove silence from a session as quickly as possible so if we can create some kind of bed to then build on um, I find that uh, removes a bit of an awkward phase where you have to get that first sound down and um, Arcade is brilliant for that for me. Uh, so as we scroll through, you can see within those lines, uh, all of these are going to be similar but different. Um, here is, before we've made any noise, one of the greatest things that I think about this. There's some really evocative descriptions for um, all of these sounds. So take this one as an example. Angelic forest, light filters through the settling dust of soothing pads that whistle in wooded hollows. Uh, before you've even made any noise, there's lyric ideas there. There's um, ideas for atmosphere and ambience for a song. What's the story going to be behind it? I find that just in itself opens up conversations in sessions um, and makes it easier to work out what the next idea is going to be. Uh, once you've chosen... Um, a specific patch that you want to use and um, everything then is going to look a little bit like this you'll see at the bottom of the screen here um, we've got samples across all of the white keys so if I start hitting the white keys we can start hearing these atmospheric sounds in this instance every key is now a separate loop you hold them down they'll keep playing they'll keep looping you can combine multiple together um, and then you see on the black keys above uh, you've got what's known as modifiers so you can hold down keys and then these modifiers will reverse sounds they'll time stretch things they'll stutter things they'll add more effects or less effects they're completely programmable yourself if you want to but the plugin does a great job at working out what is relevant to that particular patch so you can normally create some really interesting sounds without messing uh, in the back end of this uh, software, which is great in sessions. Um, there's then um, four different modifiers for all of these that, uh, again, are set up just for that patch, so they're going to be relevant to whatever sorts of sound you're trying to create. What I love about this is it gives um, participants that same kind of instant win um, as Dragon Loops in that we've already all done for years. Um, 
but also with an element of control and an element of playability to be able to manipulate some of those uh, sounds and loops themselves, um, changing the pitch of them, um, changing how you play, moving between them and playing them quite musically rather than just dragging, dropping and, and leaving it. Uh, I think for that reason, it's a really, really wonderful tool. So I can record this atmospheric pad. I could then head back to our lines page, this time choosing a distant voices pack, looking for some kind of vocal uh, that might work as a, a melody or a hook. Um, you'll find lots and lots of different styles and genres inside here. All of them are going to be vocal based. Uh, you can spot at the bottom right hand corner, you can sync this uh, to a specific key to make sure that it's in keeping with what you've come up with before. Then I might be looking for something more rhythmic. So I could find the extra percussion line page. Again, I'll choose the first one here and you'll find that this time, uh, rather than pitched melodies, chords or pads, we've got shakers, rhythmic elements that can be dropped in, tempo sync to a project very, very quickly, still with the ability to manipulate the music in the box. The second plugin that I would like to talk about is the Labs collection from Spitfire Audio. Uh, now Spitfire Audio are known um, as a company for making uh, premium quality sound libraries that are used by professionals around the world. Um, with that premium sound quality comes often premium price tags. Many of their sound libraries cost hundreds if not thousands of pounds. What we have inside Labs is the option of getting some of that quality uh, but for free. So they release small bite-sized chunks of instruments uh, for us to download. As I'm scrolling through here you can see uh, the kind of variety that is available and there's more being added all the time. Some of the things are fairly simple, um, electric guitars, electric pianos, um, all the way down to things that are very bizarre like granular whale song, um, atmospheres, moon guitars, all sorts of things. Once you've downloaded those sounds and opened up the interface you can see that it's really nice and clean and simple there's not lots of confusing dials and options here. There's just um, a few places where you can make minor adjustments to the sound, um, but in general, it's not overwhelming. You can click at the top here and scroll through some of the, the presets that are available to us. Now, this is why I like uh, the Labs collection so much and use it all the time in sessions. And it's for uh, the opposite reason to the last plugin that I was talking about. Um, that gave you so many different options, uh, whereas this takes some of that away and gives limited options. So as we go through, if we look at the, the frozen strings, for example, there's just a few options here that all sound really nice, but are just nice and simple for people to, to flick through. Um, I hate in sessions how much option there is for presets inside DAWs and some synths these days. Um, it means that you can spend an entire hour sometimes just scrolling through to find exactly the trumpet sound that you want or exactly the string sound that you want. This takes away some of those options um, and just means that you can get down to making music a little bit quicker. And then the second thing that I love about this plugin is that the sounds are just inspiring. They're great. Let's take this um, granular piano as an example. And if we load that up, um, even the the more common of instruments, like a piano, will now find, rather than the completely sort of uninspiring stock piano that you might find inside a DAW, this has just got so much more depth and life to it. This means that tracks start sounding better, faster, uh, when things are a little bit more interesting. It just fills out some of that space in a session quite quickly, which means that people are inspired to just keep writing and keep creating. This is the final plugin that I wanted to talk about, which I use in nearly every session. It's called XO. It's by a company called XLN Audio, uh, and they describe it as a beat maker plugin that allows you to organize and seamlessly explore your drum samples in a new and exciting way. Uh, now, this builds on um, the last plugin using the, the, the Labs library um, to try and speed up the process of choosing sounds. This is exactly the same. Uh, one of my biggest bugbears is uh, choosing drum samples in sessions. Um, you've probably been there uh, where somebody filters through 200 kick drums by pressing the down arrow. It takes 
20 minutes and then by the time they've got to the end they've forgotten which one they liked at the beginning they all sound fairly similar so it's it's really difficult to to make a decision and this just takes that uh annoying part of a session out um but still gives flexibility of people to choose their own sounds so instead uh, you have this quite beautiful um constellation style screen in front of you as i click and drag my mouse around these little dots every single one of them is a drum sample and um, they're all color coded so red would be kick drums snare drums over here and blue purple is our kind of toms pushing sounds we've got hi-hats up here that are yellow we've got um cymbals down here that are purple you can see how quickly you can drag through and pinpoint exactly the kind of sound that you might like um exo comes with its own built-in stock sounds which are brilliant and work across tons of genres uh, but also you can point it to a place on your hard drive where all of your drum samples are stored it will analyze them work out what they are color code them put them in the right place um, super super fast for people to just really hone in on exactly what kind of sound it is that they want rather than taking minutes 20 minutes half an hour for people to choose a kick drum and a snare drum i find typically it takes people a few seconds just to drag through narrow down exactly what it is that they like uh, once you've got that it also gives you this option at the bottom of clicking through uh, even more that are similar to the sound that you've just chosen and um, once you're happy with it you can load it up into um the bank on the left hand side which gives you space for two kick drums and snare drum a clap uh, an open hi-hat closed hi-hat and then two sort of flex percussive sounds and um, you can edit them an unbelievable amount um, at the bottom some of these options get quite complicated i must admit i don't use them with participants all the time but for myself they're brilliant um, once you've got the sounds that you you like uh, you can again continue to filter through until you've really found something that you like dragging it clicking it, a much more intuitive way than a list i find for a lot of people um, you can draw those in you can play those in you can even use a step sequencer that is built into um, the plugin itself i think this is really really powerful uh, it can be quite daunting initially with some of the options um, but once you've learned how to use it, you can just narrow it down to this little step sequence, the square, turning off all of the other uh, sort of swing and groove functions um, that are a little bit more complex initially and just get people to draw in the kind of patterns that they might like. Um, once you've got that, it will play time sync into, into your track um, very, very quickly. <laughs>